mais que te parra me siwegi mas na ham wag maga egi natamawe on the cross crucified in great sorrow he died the giver of life was he yet my lord was despised and rejected of men this jesus of calvary he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquity surely he bore our sorrows and by his stripes we are he Hoje, yeah, they, Moju. Welcome dance. Good to have you here again. Um I decided to do a an Easter uh, uh program here with you. A uh, very significant time of the year and also to the things that have been impressed upon my heart uh, lately are really connected to Easter uh, and how God has been working in my life. This show is called Be With Me. I guess you'll be sitting with me. I don't have a guest here uh with me this time. But uh I just want to share a part of my story that's uh connected to Easter and I just pray that it would encourage you. First I want to start off with a song that I learned when I was in Bible school about <laughs> oh man over over 40 years ago. And uh it was a Dallas home song. He was one of my favorite singers back then. And uh it's called Rise Again. And it's a song connected to Easter. Go ahead, drive the nails in my hands. Laugh at me where you stand. Go ahead. Say it isn't me But very soon I will be free Cuz I'll rise again Ain't no power on earth can tie me down Yes I'll rise again Death can't keep me in the ground Go ahead Mark my name My love for you is still the same Go ahead Bury me But very soon I will be free Cuz I'll rise again Ain't no power on earth can tie me down Yes I'll rise again Death can't keep me in the ground Go 
I want to share uh, a part of my story with you, just a little tidbit <laughs> of my story, but it's really connected to Easter, and that's why I really wanted to share an Easter message with you. We were going to have a, a second part of, of Vernon sharing, but we're going to have that next time. But I just really wanted to share something connected to Easter with you, and uh, just the way that the Lord's been working in my heart in the last little while. I'll share uh, some verses here from uh, the New International Version. This is the uh, New Living Translation here, but I wanted to read from the New International Version with you. In Hebrews chapter 12, uh, verses 1 to 3, I'll start a little bit down from verse 1. It says, um, Let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning the shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners so that you will not grow weary, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. You know, I've, I've lost heart a lot of times. I, I've grown weary. I've been impacted uh, by the weight of my past to the point where I, I just wanted to give up. And the two things that really uh, come across strong to me in that passage verse, it says, let us throw off the sin that so easily entangles and let's run with perseverance. Man, you know, like I just, I just, I, that's, those are strong words for someone that struggles with their past. And I, you know, I, the thing that I wanted to share was I, I've had these dreams I had these dreams often where um, I, uh, I'm running, I'm running away and somebody's chasing me. And a lot of times I, it's just as the person is catching me that I, that I wake up in my dream. And then sometimes uh, in my dreams, uh, it's just like something about me is, is going to be exposed um, in my life and you know, it's going to be laid bare uh, before, before everybody. Um, it it kind of reminds me of um, Jesus where uh, he says um, everything, you know, uh, it talks about where everything in our life is going to be laid bare before the person that we have to, to make do. And... Uh, I, I kind of think of it as this big screen that God puts up, you know, and all the angels are there and, and all the people, you know, from ages past, you know, billions of people are there and they watch this big screen. And my life comes up on that screen. And all the things that I've done in my life come up on that screen. And it's just, it's just an overwhelming thought. It's just, it's so hard to, to think of that, that happening. But you know what, like, the Word of God says the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. 
And I don't know, it, it, it just seems like it just wipes everything clean and, and makes everything right, you know, right again. And, and the part of the passage here that uh, really uh, impacted me and I studied it a bit was where he, he t it says that, uh, you know, uh, who for the joy uh, set before him, he endured the cross. And then it says that he scorned the shame of it or he despised the shame of it. And, you know, shame, I think that's, that's the idea of shame for me is that you, you just, you just hate the thought of things in your life being found out about you that, that are from your past that, that are evil, that the wrongs that you've, you've committed. And when the idea of him scorning it, it's just like he takes it like, like, like a filthy rag and he throws it aside. And it's just like, you have nothing to do with me. You know, uh, you don't have any power over me. And the idea of him scorning that is, is because he, he paid the price for our sins. He paid the price for our sins. And they have no hold on his life. And, and when we trust Jesus, the one who died for our sins, the past or the things that we've done wrong have no hold on our lives. And, and we, just, we just despise them. We, we scorn them. And we're, we're cleansed and we're clean before God. And that's a very, very, very powerful thought in, in connection uh, to what Jesus Christ did for us. You know, when it says about the death of Jesus in, in Romans chapter 6, verses 10 and 11, it says, the death he died, he died to sin once for all. The life he lives, he lives to God. Then it says to us, in the same way, count yourselves dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ. Therefore, do not let sin reign in your mortal bodies. You know, when it says don't let sin reign, I, I think of that, it just seems like, you know, it just seems to want to overpower you. It just seems to want to control you. And then it says, don't let, don't let that happen. You know, trust in what Jesus Christ has done for you. Count yourself to be alive in God. Just, just throw that away. I'm saying, Jesus paid for that. You don't, you don't, you don't have any hold over me. And you know, when, when we trust Christ as our Savior, he, he comes into our lives. You know, He cleanses us of our sin. He makes us pure. He makes us holy before God. And, and, and we can count ourselves pure before God, not because of what we do, but because of what Jesus does for us. And then another thing, another part of that um, is that uh, when, when God raised Jesus from the dead, in the same way God raises us up, and he gives us new life in him. And we're able to walk in this new life. We're able to walk with God. We're able to commune, commune with God. We are able to have fellowship with God. We're able to know that things are right between us and God. And also too, in that we have the Holy Spirit in our lives. And the, the Holy Spirit comes into our lives. Jesus gives us the Holy Spirit. And in Romans it says, the Holy Spirit testifies to our spirit that we are the children of God. You know, not the children of the world, not the children of Satan, not children that are caught up in, in things or that are over, overwhelmed by, by things of the past, but children that are alive in God, that are able to live for God. And that's what I wanted to share with you. I, I really desire for you, for you to know, you know, God's love for you. I desire for you to experience God's joy. You know, God's setting you free. Uh, from things that bind you, and for you to know that, that you are alive, that, that you're clean before God, and that the past does not have to have a hold of your life, continuing to overwhelm you, but you can have peace and just by giving your life to Jesus. I pray that you would know Him. If you don't know Him, commit your way to Him. And also, too, for those of us that know Him, just, just rest on God's Word, believe God's Word. I want to close with uh, uh, songs that talk about Jesus being risen from the dead. And uh, along with that, I just pray that you would know that he raises you up also uh, in this new life and that you can have victory in him. The Lord bless you. Gone 
The stone is rolled back, gone. The tomb is empty, gone. To sit at his father's side, my friend, he's gone. Over death, triumphant, gone. Sin is defeated, gone. He lives forevermore he's alive again oh the stone's been rolled away he's alive again he's no longer where he lay he's alive again I can hear the angels sing let all the earth rejoice he's alive he's alive again oh the stone's been rolled away He's alive again. He's no longer where he lays. He's alive again. I can hear the angels sing. Let all the earth rejoice. He's alive. Alive, alive, alive forevermore. My Jesus is alive, alive forevermore. Alive, alive, alive forevermore. My Jesus is alive. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. My Jesus is alive forevermore. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. My Jesus is alive. He's alive again. Oh, the stone's been rolled away. He's alive again. He's no longer where he lays. He's alive again. I can hear the angels sing. Let all the earth rejoice. He's alive. Let all the earth rejoice. He's alive. I just want to close with a portion of scripture to, to bless you. I know that Satan really works to destroy us, you know, and even just works on our mind, even things of our, of our past kind of accusing us, you know. And I just want to encourage us to, to really see that the Lord loves us. And when we trust in Christ, to take care of us and he just throws it away like that and we don't have to carry it and we don't have to continue to carry it and set your mind on what God says what, what God says in his word and I just want to bless you with these words for you uh, from his word Colossians chapter 3 verses 1 to 4 since then you have been raised with Christ set your hearts on things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. For you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Your life is hidden with Christ in God. I like the way it says that. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Lord bless you. Let's pray. Lord, we just thank you for your word. Help us to see ourselves as you see us, Lord. And we just pray that you would bless your word. If there be one that is overwhelmed by sin, Lord, that they would know that you are there, that you died for their sin, and that they could call out to you for for mercy and forgiveness through Jesus. And, and bless us, Lord. Help us to walk in the light of your word, in light of your mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.